money Cause I be the baddie beat Bobby team, bring your body beat Hey y'all, so I'm on my first city on my Italy tour. I'm in Florence drinking some wine. We're at, I'm at this amazing restaurant. I don't know if you can see the name. It's very beautiful, it's classic, classy, amazing. This is, my server is amazing. And we're about to try some really good food, and I will let you guys know how it goes. Bye. Okay, so I'm about to try my first appetizer in Florence. This is a stuffed pepper. Oh, shit, <laughs> I always do that. Oh, it's cold. It's cold. This is stuffed peppers with cheese. The peppers are stuffed with Swiss cheese. I kept seeing Swiss cheese a lot. So, and then I got some bread. Some bread to go. Some bread. And some wine. Okay, so this is a bite. I'm not cover my face because it keeps trying to zoom in on by pepper and cheese. <laughs> Hell no! Yeah. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna wrap things up here and my first night in Florence. I ordered some lamb chops. I'm about to go ahead and eat those and go get in the bed. As you can tell, your girl is tired. I've been traveling nonstop and I need to go to sleep. We have a long day tomorrow. I get up at 8 a.m. bright and early. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. Bye guys. I'll be back tomorrow for part two of 15. to do today. It's okay. <laughs> now we're on day two. This is my rich chick Italian summer's outfit. I look amazing. After I got dressed, I took a one hour car ride to get to the vineyard. Perfect. I am online, mamma mia. <laughs> <laughs> so we are online here from San Gimignano mm -hmm. and I was explaining to you that they produce here many types of wines. The most important wines produced in San Gimignano, Poggio Alloro, the farm here, are Chianti and Vernaccia di San Gimignano. The first is a red wine, the okay. second is a white wine. Both very old wines, I mean, produced since a long time. Chianti since the 16th century, Vernaccia since the 13th century, imagine. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And now we can if walk around picking, uh, for picking okay. the grape by hand or okay. by machine, depending okay. what's more convenient. Okay. okay. And here is the grape. I want to show you. It's like a cluster. Huh? Baby cluster. Baby grapes. Hello, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is now green and okay. very, very sour. Okay. <laughs> don't, it's Not ready. You don't, no, you okay. don't taste. Okay. But it will be red. Red okay. grape. 
the red grape, the most popular v uh, grape we have in Tuscany is Sangiovese. Sangiovese. Used for, to produce Chianti. Chianti. Chianti has to be minimum 80% Sangiovese grape. Okay. You put inside the bottle here. So these are the fresh bottles that were made? These are just fresh bottles, yes. This is the white wine Vernaccia. See? Mm, this so is the Vernaccia, it's the white wine Vernaccia. They so they put it in, okay. They put an empty bottle here. Okay. That is a machine that clean with the spritz of water. Okay. <laughs> then there is a hair to dry. Okay. There is the spilling where you fill up with wine. Wine, okay. Yeah. Fresh wine. Mm. Fresh wine, yeah. And then the cork machine. Cork, okay. So when... Uh, oh, I see the corks right there. Exactly. So here you have the bottles that are filled with wine and, and cork. Wow. is owned by the family. They own all of this? Yes. What, what family? This family. This family. What's the name? Time for a wine tasting. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> They restored uh, what was used for cows. This. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. There we go. Here they have also the pool. Look at this. Fantastic. Hi, everybody. So we mm -hmm. are in Tuscany now. We just finished a wine tour. It was amazing at this beautiful vineyard um, here in Italy. We're about to try some amazing wines. We're gonna try three different wines. And um, we're sitting out. It's a beautiful vineyard. Beautiful scenery. The company here is amazing. It's family owned. And I'm excited. So as soon as everything gets laid out, I will be back to show you guys what we got. Thank you, bye. The first wine you taste is the Vernaccia, white wine the Vernaccia. This wine is the wine that they make fresh here. Not aged. On property. Fresh. Very good. Not aged. Mm -hmm. With some Got fresh cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, guys. All right, y'all. I'm about to try it. <laughs> this is Vernac Vernaca. Vernaccia. Vernaccia. Yes. Vernaccia wine. Yes. It, okay. This wine is made 100 percentage with Vernaccia grape. It is a grape that grow only in the round, around, surrounding the castle. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Mm. It is light. It's sweet. Um, it's easy to drink. It yeah, doesn't have a bad aftertaste. It tastes fresh. Yeah. You guys have to come here. It's literally amazing. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm gonna drink. <laughs> Actually ended up getting pretty drunk, but here are some pictures that I took around the property. I had an amazing time. The tour was about three hours. The weather was nice. It's 100% a must do whenever you're in Italy. So far, I give Florence 10 out of 10. Stay tuned for the rest of my European tour.